not. Boy. Mikey. Yeah. You barely have any food left. How are we supposed to make dinner? I... I don't know. Well, we'll have to go to the shops, but quickly. It won't be long before they close. I open the closet by the door and grab a jacket. Or my jacket. You coming? Because I don't really know what I'm getting. It's getting pretty cold out there. And I don't have a coat. Is it at your place? No, Mikey. I don't own one. The hell? I hand Natsuki my coat for the for, for the time being. Well, hold on to this for now then. I can handle the weather until we get to the shopping center. Are you sure? Because I really wouldn't want... It's fine, believe me. Come on, we're going to have to hurry before the shops close. As we exit the house, that gust of chilly wind hits us both. Natsuki hurriedly pulls my coat on. I shiver violently. Got cold quick. We catch the bus and make our way to the store. On the route, the bus passes Natsuki's house. Triggered! She shuffles down in her seat in an attempt to keep it out of her sight. Uh, I can understand. You okay? Natsuki wraps her arm around mine. Yeah. Shortly, the bus arrives at our stop, and we make sh our way to the mall. So, uh, where do you... Natsuki is already dragging me into a nearby clothing store before I can finish my sentence. What the... Well, shit. She rests my jacket off and hands it to me. They're all so cute. Oh, Mikey. <laughs> How do you like this one? <laughs> it's like a business suit. <laughs> I like it. You know, it fits you perfectly, too. Oh, and look at the scarf. It goes perfectly with it. Natsuki walks to the cash register to pay. Uh, Natsuki? Where'd you get m the money from? Oh, uh, I... Well, I had to take it from my dad. <laughs> You're stealing it? It's not stealing. Well, I don't... Well, I don't like thinking it is. It's usually for baking stuff. Sometimes manga. I was saving for the Parfait Girls box set, but this is more important. The clerk scans... <clears throat> scans both of her items, and the total... <clears throat> is a bit steeper than Natsuki expected. Begrudgingly... <clears throat> she brings the scarf back to the rack she found it on. I have an idea. You're gonna buy it for her, aren't you? I grab the scarf while she's pay for a jacket and grab a black beanie for myself. You think this will look good on me? Hmm, maybe. Good enough. <laughs> I place the two items on the counter and the cashier gives me a sly smile scanning my things. Did he like put the scarf in the beanie or something? <laughs> Just so she didn't see it? <laughs> Natsuki is waiting for me outside. During the time we spent indoors, it had begun to snow outside. Could have done with the scarf after all, huh? Just you wait. <laughs> Natsuki begins to shiver as we wait. The snow begins to settle as the bus comes to a halt. The snow is beautiful. Yeah. We board the bus with our things and sit at the back. I give Natsuki the window seat. We sit together wordlessly as she becomes more entranced by the snowfall. Oh. 
It's a shame it will be gone in the morning. It never really sticks. Yeah, I wish it'd stay a bit longer, too. Natsuki rests her head on my shoulder, still staring out the window. This is nice. I wrap my arm around her. We stay this way for the remainder of the trip back home. As we approach our stop, I grab all of our bags. The bus comes to a stop and we get off. Whoa. Modified this uh, artwork. We're a short walk from the home or house, whatever. Now's probably a good time to... Hey, Mikey. How much was the hat after all? Oh, um... Oh, shit, it added up the fucking scarf, too. I actually don't have a clue. Uh -huh. I only bought it so I could surprise you with this anyway. Oh, well, there it goes. I pulled a scarf out from inside the hat. I knew it! He put it inside the hat. How else could... How else... Where else did he put it? Like, where else? And she's in shock. <laughs> Mikey, you really didn't have to buy me this, this scarf, you know. I know I did. I just wanted to. Aww. I hold it out and she reaches out to grab it. Draping it around her neck, she beams at me speechlessly. Or speechless. <laughs> speechlessly is not even a word, I don't think. <laughs> Mikey, I... Aww, look at that. Natsuki grabs the sleeves on my jacket. I pull her in close and embrace the moment for as long as possible. Her grip loosens a little. Sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't be. Okay, I just couldn't stop myself. It's fine, Natsuki. In fact, this is great. <laughs> Aww. Thanks, Mikey. For everything you've done for me. I... I never want this to end. Nor do I. We remain together for a little more. Eventually, our responsibilities get, a, get the better of us and we separate. We take Natsuki by the hand and we walk to the grocery store. We grab all the ingredients we'll need for tonight and head on our way. Hey, Mikey. I could carry some of those for you. No need, it's my turn to do some heavy lifting. The pain in my shoulder slowly returns, leaving it aching. I do my best to ignore it. As we approach my house, I take a peek over to Sayori's window. Oh god. Her bedroom light is on. I take back to the hospital. I told her I would be there for her no matter what. Did I break that promise by letting Natsuki stay with me? No. No, when I explain the situation with Natsuki, Sayori will understand. I know her. We arrive back at my house. I set the bags onto the ground to unlock the door. Natsuki wanders toward the gate. I don't want to go inside. Not just yet. It sounds childish, but I kind of want to enjoy the snow. Only for a little longer. Well, wait there and I'll be right back. Swinging open the door to the house, I make a beeline for the re refrigerator. I hurriedly throw in everything inside. Not everything. Not even bothering to take the food out of their bags. I return outside. Natsuki is nowhere to be seen. Oh god! <laughs> that actually made me jump! The freaking splat in the sound effect was loud in the headphones. <laughs> it made me jump! <laughs> oh shit. From what seemed to be thin air, however, a snowball hits me square in the face. I recoil stunned. Hey! 
That's it. If she wants a snowball fight, I'll give her a snowball fight. I duck for cover behind a bush as she's already packing another. I begin to collect my own. I hear my footsteps crunch in the snow as she creeps toward me. As I poke my head around, I'm clipped by Natsuki's next snowball. <laughs> nice try. Ha! <laughs> I return fire on her. I hit her in the back as she retreats toward the gate. Natsuki lets out a yelp and falls to the ground. Natsuki now on her hands and knees holds her back in pain. Oh god, are you okay? I rush over to her side, taking a knee to make sure she's not injured. She's not injured. I feel like if I know her, she's gonna just chuck a snowball right at your face anyway. Natsuki, I'm so sorry. Natsuki scoops a bout of snow. I called it. She's that kind of person. I know. <laughs> she hops back onto her feet and runs inside giggling. Stunned and covered in snow, I sit and process what just happened for a moment. I brush myself off and head back inside. Natsuki is washing her hands in the kitchen. You win this time. Don't think I'll fall for that again. Oh yeah? She leaves the water running for me as I proceed to wash my hands as well. I splash some room temperature water on my face. Uh, that's nice. Oh, come on. I could have done so much worse. I try my hands and face using a flannel. I open the fridge and start unloading the bag of ingredients into the counter. What do you think you're doing, Mikey? Sit your ass down, I'm cooking tonight. <laughs> you don't want me you don't want my help at all? Nope. <laughs> I can handle it. I mean you did your part by carrying everything for me. And it's the least I can do since you're letting me stay here. I shrug. Alright. <laughs> at least I don't have to cook. <laughs> not about to say no to a meal cooked for me by Natsuki of all people. If you insist, huh? I take a seat at the table. I'm right here in case you need a hand, Kay. You just go to watch me cook? That's a bad thing? Well, not really. You might want to pay attention to what I'm doing, though. Considering you almost set your house on fire making those pancakes. Alright, let's not talk about that. I can feel the blood rush to my face. You're never gonna let me live that, live that down, are you? Nope. <laughs> Natsuki moves fluidly, fluidly around my kitchen. You really need to learn to manage your time in the kitchen. Cooking and baking should be fun, not a, a pain in the ass. <laughs> if it's stressing you, if it's stressing you out, then you're probably doing it wrong. That's very poetic of you, Natsuki. <laughs> I might have heard it on a cooking show. <laughs> Natsuki resumes her work as I watch from her table. Okay, now I just need to let this simmer for a few minutes and we'll be set. Really? That quickly? What'd you expect? I'm a pro. I can do it at no time. Natsuki begins to set the table. Wait, let me sort this out. I've done, I've done practically nothing anyway. I position the placemats and the silverware on both sides of the table. Natsuki divides the food in, onto our plates. The scent of chicken and sauteed? Sauteed? Sauteed vegetables fills the kitchen. I've never heard of sauteed vegetables. <laughs> it's only a stir fry, Mikey. It's not that special. She must have seen the look on my face. You sure? It smells great. <laughs> she talks about it like it's nothing, but I can tell she's... <clears throat> she's reveling in the compliment. We sit at the table and eat our dinner. After we're both finished, I take our dishes and place them in the dishwasher. I fill the sink full of hot, soapy water and let the pan soak for a few moments. Natsuki's already made her way to the couch and started looking for something to watch. She shouts out to me from the next room over. Mikey! 
Anything you want to watch? Unless you got something in mind, not really. I scrubbed the pan hastily and tossed it in, in the rest of the in the rest of the loaf. I entered my living room to find Natsuki staring out the window. Ah, it stopped snowing. It'll probably be done by gone by tomorrow. Hey, at least <clears throat> we got to have our fun with it, right? Natsuki nods in agreement. Natsuki flips through channels. Soap, drama, comedy, comedy, soap. Wait, you put comedy twice. <laughs> soap, drama, comedy, comedy, soap, documentary, soap, game show. Etc. Oh, etc. etc. That's how you spell etc., huh? <laughs> I just put an etc dot. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, there's never anything good on. That's why I don't watch TV anymore in real life. <laughs> I know. You want to look for a movie instead? Sure. I open the streaming app play like, and Natsuki begins to browse the selection. It's gonna be Netflix. <laughs> or Hulu. She picks a cutesy love story. I didn't even get a chance to read the title before she hits the play button. I love this movie so much. I used to watch it all the time because... Because... Mikey, I forgot. Natsuki pauses the movie and turns to me. About everything. My father. Oh god, here we go. Gonna get hit right in the heart, I guess. I can see the tears forming in her eyes. Mikey. He has pr a problem. He's been like this ever since... Ever since my mom left us. I think I was five. Looking back, I can get why she s stopped talking to him. He was a terrible person before, but... Why me? What did I ever do? I think my dad blames me for her leaving. I think that's the reason he drinks so much. He always tells me I, I remind him of her. And that he hates it. I... Natsuki can't even speak. The sobbing is drowning in her voice. Natsuki, just try and breathe, okay? Take your time. We don't have to talk about this right now. We could save this for another day if... No, Mikey. I need to, you to know. It's gonna get crazy. Mikey, since I was 14, he's resorted to... to borderline torturing me for existing. He only brings home food once a week. And it's usually just leftovers from a restaurant. And when he drinks, he sees me as my mother. That day you saw me in the hospital, that wasn't even the worst. Believe me. I tried to run away from him before. A couple years ago, I found my mom's address. It had been something like 11 years since I'd seen her. I took the train to her city, and when I knocked on her door, she... Mikey, she slammed the door in my face. What the hell? She had the worst parents. Telling me that she, that she left for a reason, and that she didn't want me. Wow, this hurts. So I came back home because I had nowhere else to go. He found out. I went to see my mother. That's when he really started to take his anger out on me. He <clears throat> beat me to the point I had to cover it up with makeup just to be able to go to school. Of course, no one noticed. I secretly hoped that. Someone would 
think something was up. That I'd have to explain myself. But they never did. I mean, I was trying to cover up, so I can't really blame them. She takes a moment, wiping her eyes with her sleeve. Jesus. The other night, you know, the, the drinks? That was the only escape I could think of. I'd gone back to the doctors a few hours after you saw me. You gave me painkillers for my ribs. So I stole a bottle of wine from my dad's rack in the basement. I tried everything to get away from him, but every time... Every goddamn time, I would always fail. And have to go back. Mikey, I wanted to die. Oh, God. I really wanted it. All to get away from him. I thought the pills would have been enough but I guess the few that I had left when I was ready to to go weren't and I'm glad because you came to check on me you were worried you cared about me I never thought I'd have this Mikey I never thought I would feel this way this this it's the first time I can remember where- Ah, oh, shit. It's not in space. I can remember where I, f where I felt truly happy. Aww. Poor Natsuki, dude. All those y years. All the pain. Nothing can change the past. But... I grab Natsuki by the shoulders and hold her tight. Matsuki buries her face into my chest. She's sobbing uncontrollably. I won't let anything else happen to you, Natsuki. I promise. You're here now. I'm always here for you. No matter what. Do you understand? She nods her head, keeping it embedded in my chest. I sit there. <clears throat> I sit there with her for a while. I don't know what else to do other than let her cry. She's held all of this in for so long. She needs to let it all out. After a long time, she sits back upright, wiping the tears from her face. While she's drying her eyes, I glance at the clock. It's getting really late. If we plan on attending class tomorrow, we should go to bed. Although there really isn't much point in going. We've already missed a good part of the week anyways. Thank you, Mikey. For reading with me at the club for helping me bake for the festival for saving my life for for everything really I it's no problem Natsuki I'll do it again for you you're you're so sweet I she trying to say I love you I think she's trying to Natsuki from the day I laid eyes on you I thought you were perfect so I tried to impress you. With my trash poems. That's why I spent so much time with you. I really wanted to get to know you. Everything about you was just... Wonderful. But... There's one thing that I can't stand. You hid this pain from me. I could have helped sooner. I understand that you had your reasons for not telling me, but... Natsuki. I really don't know... What else to say other than, I love you. Aw, there we go. Everything about you makes me feel a way I've truly never felt before. Natsuki doesn't know what to do. She sits there for a moment. I, I love you too, Mikey. Aw, there we go. You guys can kiss now. She's weeping again. This time tears of joy, it seems. She wraps her arm around me again, significantly tighter than before. I can't help but think back to the hospital. When Siori told me that she loved me, is this part of the reason I couldn't say it back? Yes, it is. Yikes. 
Do you still want to watch the movie, Mikey? Of course. We resume the movie from the beginning. Oh, God. As the movie credits roll, I realize it's now early morning. What? <laughs> I nudge Natsuki to stand and she follows. I head to the kitchen for a drink and Natsuki lingers behind me. Mikey. <coughs> Sorry, voice crack. <laughs> can we, uh, can we sleep together again? I really, I really liked it, okay? I, uh, sure. Come on, then. Natsuki and I head upstairs to her bedroom. I let her into, I let her interchange first. She closes the door on me and I wait patiently outside. Just because I said I love you, that doesn't give you the right to peep. <laughs> oh, God. I know, I know. I'll stay out, I promise. Of course, I won't invade her privacy. Not without her consent, anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Come in. I inch the door open, and Natsuki is already in bed. I grab my pajamas from my drawer and take off my top as... <laughs> eh? <laughs> Did you really just get in front of me? What's the problem? <laughs> Natsuki seems tense. As if she wants to say something but is withholding it. Dummy. <laughs> oh, right. I was about to get undressed in front of her. Do I ever stop and think about anything? Apparently not. <laughs> Moving out into the hall for a moment, I get changed into my pajamas. I come back in. I climb onto the bed after turning off the light. Natsuki immediately rolls over and holds me tight as she did the night before. Night, Mikey. Hey, it's Friday. 